Hey, what's going on guys? D-Legend here. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new medals that just came out in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So they are going to be Supernova++ Plus Plus Xemnas and Supernova++ Plus Plus Illustrated Sora. So two brand new medals. We'll talk about those in two seconds here. We're just going to go over the other updates real quick here. So first and foremost, there is a high score challenge that is out now. Um, and then a new um, gem farming event. So you can farm magic gems this time around. So I'll actually do this one because I don't, I didn't actually need speed gems as much as I need magic gems, but I probably should have done the speed one all, more often because they are farmable gems and you might as well just use your AP for them. Um, but yeah, high score challenge. Make sure you guys do that to get some free gems. Aside from that, there is returning avatar boards. And so we do have the sweet prince and sweet princess avatar boards. They are not very good anymore um, skill wise, but... If you want them for aesthetics, I mean, go for it if you really want to spend 1,500 jewels. Um, aside from that, there is two other quick things here. So the draw point steal has been updated, like I predicted. Um, and it just got updated yesterday, I believe. Or, yeah, yesterday. So you guys can actually get some of the newer medals now. So, like, Supernova++, Plus Plus, Kingdom Hearts 3 HD Shion, I think that's what it's called. Um, the Renova Shion there. You can get Leon, you can get Roxas as well. I'm not sure if you can get any other things, uh, but we, we can double check that in a second here. And then lastly, there is an issue where, there has been an issue where from October 2017 to May 21st, 2020, um, Android players were not able to actually unlock achievements. So let me show you here real quick. I've been waiting for this to be fixed for the longest time. I have 709 achievements completed. I've obviously been top 100 in Lux solo rankings before, and I've definitely been a top 1,000 in Coliseum. So I don't know why this is, like, an issue that they just figured out now, but I guess it is what it is, and we all get 300 jewels because of it, not just Android players. So, yeah, anyways, let's check out the... Before we check out the new banners that are right there, looking juicy, um, we're going to check out the new draw odds for this banner here, the draw points banner. So we can get... What else can we get now? We can get... We've been able to get all those medals before, so Decidia, Sephiroth, Elsa... We're two of the best medals from this banner, as well as Carrot 22 and Yen Sid. You could also get Supernova++, Plus Plus, Kingdom Hearts 3, Terra, Ventus, and Aqua, which are the Renova medals, which is awesome as well. Uh, but now you can get HD Xion, or Kingdom Hearts 3, Xion as well, which is the other Renova medal. What else? What else? You can get Lingering Will now. I believe that wasn't there before. Leon's there, Roxas is there. I think that's about it, though. They didn't add in some of the newer medals aside from those. I think they added in the 100 Acre Woods medals, so Pooh, Piglet, Rabbit. Um, obviously not Tigger, because Tigger was a VIP medal. But yeah, those are basically the new additions, I believe. If you guys notice anything else, let me know in the comments below, because I am definitely interested to see if they added anything aside from those medals that I just talked about. Um, obviously these ones have the lowest percentage for the draw rate. But anyways, let's get to the main point of this video, and that is to talk about the two brand new banners that just came out, uh, literally two minutes ago. So we've got Supernova++ Plus Plus Illustrated Sora and Supernova++ Plus Plus Xemnas. Let's talk about the Illustrated Sora first. Uh, so as usual, as, as of recently at least, it's... It's, as usual, as a 5-pull Mercy for this medal. It You do get one trait medal per pull, as well as 10 VIP coins and three magic gems for this banner. You do get three Kingdom Hearts 3 medals as well, and uh, six 5-star and higher medals. So 3,000 jewels per pull, 15,000 15, jewels for a 5-pull Mercy. You get this medal. Um, what does it do? It is an AoE medal that does eight hits. For two turns, increases your magic medal strength by 3,000. And then buffs yourself for strength, magic, and magic strength by 15 tiers. And then decreases your target's general defense and magic base defense by 15 tiers. Special attack bonus plus 200%. Count plus 1. Damage plus uh, is higher the if there's one enemy or zero parts left. Pierce's defense boost 30%. It's a tier 10 metal, obviously. Supernova++ plus plus means mastery for Supernova. Uh, for two turns, increases your magic metal strength by 6,000 and then buffs yourself for 15 tiers of upright and magic based strength, and then debuffs enemies upright and magic based defense. Plus 300% special attack bonus, ignores target's defense boost, 240 times a multiplier. 
base strength of 47,189. Um, honestly, the guys, this metal is pretty underwhelming compared to other metals that we have out right now and metals that we've had in the recent past. So, um, Sorcerer was one of the metals that is way better than this because it is a PvP metal, um, but it also just buffed itself and it was just easily usable by, just by itself. With this metal, yes, you can use the Supernova there and then just pop its special attack and you will start doing damage, but honestly, a metal that buffs itself for general and then the PSM color that they are, as well as upright slash reverse, whatever they are, is way more effective than just a metal that does just general strength and their PSM color. So this one just does general strength and magic base strength uh, up and down against the enemy. Um, and then it's Supernova obviously makes up for that, but if the special attack has all that you need in one special attack, why not have that in one special attack? And Sorcerer was also a PvP metal. It did pierce defense boost and it was basically touted as the next Elsa. So an upgraded Elsa. Um, this metal is honestly basically that, except not quite because it doesn't buff yourself quite as useful as, uh, as well. It does pierce defense boost, just like Elsa, um, and it does pierce defense boost with its supernova, unlike Elsa, which is better than Elsa, actually. But overall, I would skip this ba uh, this banner and this metal altogether, unless you really like the artwork. It's it's nice, not gonna lie, but I wouldn't pull, spend 15,000 jewels just to pull this metal. Just for the artwork, you can admire it from a distance by grabbing its trait metal. Um, and then I'll show you guys how to show that, how to check the the art in the album slot there in a second here. So this banner is a skip for me, personally. Um, I don't know if you guys are pulling for it, but let me know in the comments below. I would recommend skipping though, even if you're... If you, even if you have a billion jewels, I would just re recommend skipping this banner. Supernova++ plus plus Xemnas is the same type of banner. Three Kingdom Hearts 3 medals per pull, one trait medal for Xemnas. Six five-star medals and higher, 10 VIP coins, and three power gems per pull. It's a five-pull mercy, and you do get this medal within, or within, yeah, 15,000 jewels, basically. 3,000 jewels per pull. Um, this metal is essentially the same thing as Berserker, who is already out, except Xemnas does do rainbow damage, which means it is effective against all attributes. So even though it's a power metal, it's usually just as effective against speed metals. It will actually be effective against, uh, super effective against um, magic and, speed and uh, power enemies as well, which is pretty useful. Um, especially as a raid metal, but we'll talk about him real quick here. Special attack wise, he is an AoE metal that does 13 hits that ignore targets attributes. For one turn, increases your metal, or met your metal strength plus 6,000 uh, and then buffs yourself for strength, general strength, reverse and power, PSM strength uh, for 15 tiers. Special attack bonus plus 200% and count plus minus zero. Tier 10 metal, 3 gauges, 84.07 uh, multiplier for its just its base multiplier and that's the only multiplier it has there's no conditions for it to deal max damage um 46,919 max strength and supernova wise it is obviously mastery because it's supernova plus plus for one turn buffs your metal strength but uh for a thousand or ten thousand sorry and um your target's defense your target's general defense reverse and psm defense are decreased by 15 tiers special attack bonus plus 300 percent 240 times the multiplier, so pretty standard there, but this metal is pretty solid compared to Berserker because it does buff your metal strength plus 10,000. That's just for any metal. And then also, same with its uh, special attack, it does buff It does buff every single kind of metal, not just power metals, not just reverse metals. If you go ahead and look at Berserker here, I believe Berserker just buffs power metal strength plus 10,000 for its supernova and plus 5,000 for its... Um, special attack there. So honestly, Berserker is not that great a metal compared to Xemnas. So Xemnas is something I would actually kind of recommend, especially if you need a raid metal for a raid setup. Personally, I wouldn't. I honestly do need a reverse power metal for my raid setup for my Fenrir. However, I don't know if I'm going to spend 15,000 jewels to pull for this because I don't love raiding all that much and I usually get top like 50, top 100 in Ursus anyways, so it doesn't really matter what kind of setup I have. Obviously, it would be nice to future-proof my setup now. However, I don't think I can justify spending 15,000 jewels on this single metal to make it a raid metal. 
Um, don't get me wrong, the supernova is super useful, the special attack is super useful, just because it does buff, again, all metals for 6,000 for its special attack. If you have extra attack on that, that's plus 12,000 right there. And then supernova wise, plus 10,000. If you have a metal that does renova, like Terra or TVA, or um, Renova Shion um, that you can actually get in the drop points banner now. You can buff yourself for a total of um, 32,000 strength in just one turn, just with this one metal, obviously with the um, Supernova effect of Shion or Terra or TVA. But like that's that's awesome guys that's amazing amount of strength that you can buff yourself up with and it's good for every single metal so it's not just power metals like berserker um so i would 100 percent recommend this over berserker even though it's very similar uh damage multiplier by the way is fixed compared to berserker where it is conditioned um where you do need higher hp to actually deal max damage obviously you're not going to have low hp or any damage to you like just generally speaking in normal quests and stuff so it's not a big deal but Xemnas is way better in my opinion than Berserker and I know some of you guys in the comments were in my Berserker slash gambler video were saying that Berserker is actually a really good metal and I don't disagree but I don't think it's that great in all honesty just because it's a power based metal that increases power based strength and doesn't fit into a bunch of setups in my opinion like obviously it's useful for power setups but not that great overall Whereas Xemnas is useful for everything because it does rainbow damage. Um, Xemnas is definitely a raid, like a metal that you could make a raid metal really easily and it would be amazing for a very long time. Like I talked about in the past, you can go ahead and use metals like um, Timeless River Mickey because it does deal, uh, it does ignore target's attributes. So it basically just is effective against any attribute, just like Xemnas uh, for raiding, which is what I'm doing. And I'm also using Kiar 22 as a raid metal here because, again, it just ignores target's attributes, it does max damage against every single color, and so it's super useful for raiding. So you don't have to nest, like you don't need to make a different raid setup. So if you wanted to buy, if you are starting this game and you have a bunch of jewels to spend but don't know what to spend it on and you want to start raiding, um, maybe start pulling for Zemnis because if you have enough jewels to make a raid setup with Zemnis. You can use Dark Knot here, and you can basically just toss a bunch of reverse power metals onto the setup, and maybe just have a nominee to buff, to buff yourselves up at the start there, and then you're basically set, honestly. So, it is up to you guys what you guys want to do with your jewels. I would recommend saving, in all honesty, because you don't know what's coming next, and I personally do think that there will be a new buffer metal in the near future. Again, that is justified because or that's evidenced by the fact that there is a nominee in this week's VIP which is basically what happens when there is going to be a new medal coming out in the near future that replaces this medal so before nominee it was um, Supernova plus uh, Kyrie and then before that it was Kyrie EX plus I believe so let me find them all for you so before Namine, the best buffer in the game was probably Kyrie and Shion. A. Um, these were really good buffers back in the day. Like, if you had extra attack, you basically got max buffs in one metal. So that was pretty sweet. But then Namine came out and that replaced it because it did buff your strength. And then before this Kyrie and um, this Shion, where is it? And this Shion, there was metals like. This Kyrie, Kyrie, Illustrated Kyrie EX, and before that it was, uh, where is it? Uh, this Kyrie. So, and all these medals took their turn as VIP medals. So, especially I remember for fact that this Kyrie, Illustrated Kyrie EX, was definitely a VIP medal for like at least two weeks um, before this Kyrie was released. So, and then this Kyrie was a VIP medal before Nominate was released. So, honestly, guys, I think there will be a new buffer medal coming out in the near future, like I talked about in my last video. I'm sure it'll be a medal that buffs your strength for maybe multiple turns, maybe two turns. Um, and then it'll probably renew your supernova for other medals. And I think it'll renew all supernova for all different types of medals. Doesn't 
like regardless of what PSM color they are and regardless if they are upright or reverse. So we don't have any metals that actually do that right now. TVA is the closest thing that that just buffs. I mean, that's uh, Renova's all uh, upright metals and then Xion Renova's all reverse metals for their supernova. So those are the two closest things that we have right now. Um, and I'm sure the next buffer metal will have an insane buff based off its special attack. And then it's... Uh, Supernova will definitely have a buff as well as the Renova is what I'm guessing at least. Who knows though guys, who knows if they will just release tier 11 metals or what they're going to do, but it's going to come in the next few weeks guys, so honestly I would just hold on to your jewels and save them up in case either of those things come out and then like if if a new buffer metal comes out in the near future guys. Um, I just wanted to talk about the um, skill boards here real quick. They are honestly really good skill boards as usual. These are the best value for your money, if for your jewels, if you do need to buy some skills. So specifically, board A is a raid board, um, so I would 100% recommend getting this if you have any intention of raiding whatsoever. Um, there's four Lux skills, Lux++ plus plus skills, right there for you, and then Defense Boost 6 Max, which is super useful for PvP if you don't already have it. Uh, PvP video coming soon, by the way, guys, so let me know in the comments below um, when you want to see the PvP video. But, um, yeah, skill board is super useful for raiding and just getting Lux in general. Skill board B is really useful for just general content, um, including PvE Coliseum, as well as just quests like the big bonus challenge and like the uh, Leviathan challenge that are out right now. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't buy skill board B unless you really need some skills. I usually get my skills from PvE Coliseum. That's the main source of like just attack boost 12s for me right now, and then just the meta uh, attack boost skills. However, Lux skills are harder to come across, so make sure you guys are buying this board if you do need some Lux skills. If you guys have less than like one or less um, Lux++ plus plus skills, I would honestly maybe consider buying that near the end of the month if you do need it for raid week. It's there for 29 days, I think it said, so you guys have plenty of time. Um, yeah, I, I also didn't look at the draw odds here for the new banners. Let's look at them real quick. I don't think you can pull the other metal from the banner so you can't pull illustrated sora from the xemnas banner and you can't pull Zem uh xemnas from the illustrated sora banner there's a 0.149 percent possibility that you get this metal early and then for the guaranteed pull um nothing never mind nothing there um yeah there's basically a 0.14 percent chance you actually get this metal early and uh, so if you guys, or same with this one, I'm assuming. Yeah, so exact same thing, but you can't get Illustrated Sword from the Xemnas banner and Xemnas from the Illustrated Sword banner. So not great banners in my opinion. Um, honestly, if you really are itching to spend your jewels, I would go for Gambler. Best metal right now, multiplier wise. Has the highest multiplier in the game. Just a refresher there. That is a critical hit multiplier, obviously. And it's only a 25% chance that you actually hit the critical hit. But that will push you so much further for so many different things um, if you're willing to run the quest over and over again to maximize your damage output for whatever quest it is. Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. Make sure you guys are doing your dailies because we do get some draw um, some draw tickets from our dailies. And then, yeah, make sure you guys save that up so you can pull on the draw tickets banner. I think I need one more and then I can do a 10 pull. So let me just grab that real quick and then I'll do a 10 pull with you guys to end off the video. All right, let's go ahead and collect our jewels real quick here. We do have 10 draw tickets from the Dragon Maleficent battle event, so we can do our um, Mercy from the Temple again after I collect this one here. So make sure you guys are doing Union Cross every day. Just three times, even if you don't want to do all of it, but honestly, it's pretty useful to do all of it because you, you do get um, quite a few PSM gems as well as Sun and Moon gems, and that is basically the best way to get moon gems right now if you guys are asking um sun and moon gems are really quite useful and they are very limited in this game so you can only get really get them for, through certain events as well as um through union cross i guess basically so so this is our first temple or actually our second temple of the mercy technically literally nothing good there that's okay we can recycle them for drop points let's do our last temple here Honestly, don't know if I'll be able to Mercy the ten pull yet again because it's three pulls per Mercy for the ten pull. 
Um, we'll see if they drop any more draw tickets on us, but I doubt it, honestly. Okay, I got a new medal. That's pretty cool. So I got Supernova Plus, Kingdom Hearts 3, Psyx B, Tier 10 medal. Ink for one turn increases your power metal strength by 7,500, and then buffs yourself up for general, reverse, and power based strength by 15 tiers. Damage plus higher your slot number. Gauge plus two. Not bad, honestly. Don't remember this metal even coming out in all honesty. But pretty sweet looking metal, so yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Especially because it's a new metal. Don't have it in my album slot yet, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of my album slots, by the way, let me just show you guys real quick. What I mean by um, seeing your key arts, your key art arts. Let me find it real quick. Okay, I didn't find a key art, but I found a stained glass metal, which is basically the same thing. You can actually check their arts here if you have them unlocked in your album. So it's pretty sweet to be able to do that. So if you are a collector, you don't necessarily have to worry about selling your old metals. I personally just do like to hold on to my old metals still, but really cool to see all these artworks for certain metals that actually have artwork. Um, let me find another metal that might have... Uh, one sec. So this Riku actually has an art as well, because it's an EX metal. Pretty sweet. Okay, I'm going to sell some of my old metals and then do a drop point pull real quick with you guys, because new odds, I want to see what I get. If you guys are bored, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying this though, and uh, make sure you guys look out for my high score challenge video that will be coming out pretty soon. I can sell all this stuff. 94 draw points, not bad. So I can do one pull I think. Yeah, okay. Let's do one pull on the brand new revised draw point spanner. And let's pull the Renova Shion. Bang, oh my gosh, I got nominated, that's awesome. Honestly, I will take that any day. She's an awesome metal, and one of the best metals you can still pull from the draw points banner. So I'm really, really happy with that, actually. I will definitely take that, because I definitely have traits for her still, so I will make her probably a raid metal as well. Just to make my Fenrir even better. But anyways, I will catch you all soon, guys. Make sure you guys check out the rest of my videos, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in my content. I do make a lot of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross videos, and guides and such for different events, as well as banners and such, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content, and I will catch you all soon. Peace.